Hello and welcome back to Star Trek is Life. Today we're going to be talking about the Star Trek character named Lol. Lol was a soon type android constructed by Data in 2366 while on the USS Enterprise D. She exceeded Data's capabilities in several ways, notably by being able to complete more than 60 trillion calculations per second using verbal contractions and feeling emotions such as fear and love. So without further ado, let's get into the conception and creation of LOL. Technology in the 2360s prohibited the successful creation of a stable positronic brain, with Data being the one exception. When he learned of a newly developed Micron Matrix Transfer technology at a cybernetics conference he had attended in 2366, he decided to proceed with the creation of one like himself. Using his own positronic brain as a template, Data thereby programmed the brain of the android that would ultimately be known as LOL. His initial tests proved successful, so he returned from the conference with the new brain. Lal's creation allowed Data to accomplish two things, to recreate the work of his father, Nuni and Soon, and experience the act of procreation, having a family and leaving behind a legacy should he perish. Data chose the name for his offspring from a Hindi word meaning beloved. Data's eventual hope was that someday his daughter would enter Starfleet Academy and serve in Starfleet as he had. He wished to give back to the organization that had given him so many opportunities. Regardless, he felt that ultimately it was his role to parent her, not Starfleet's. To this end, he consulted all of the available literature on parenting aboard the Starship Enterprise D. Originally genderless and possessing a very basic humanoid appearance, Lal was allowed to choose its own gender and appearance. Deanna Troy reminded Lal that Lal's choice would affect how people interacted with her. Lal originally wished to share gender and features with Troy, but Data discouraged the move, saying it would be confusing. After narrowing the choices from several thousand composites Data had programmed to four finalists, the Endorian female, a human male and female, and a Klingon male, Lal chose the human female form. Additionally, she was given a skin pigmentation and eye type consistent with human females, as opposed to Data's less human features. And this is how she came to be, the conception and creation of LOL. If you liked what you heard, go ahead and give me a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe. For more, Star Trek is life. And as always, thank you for watching.